Hello, Christus. Hello, Alan. How's it going, mate? What did you say? I said, how's it going, mate? Are we good? Um, I'm super tired. <laughs> <coughs> so welcome to GMT's Gauntlet, I guess. Yeah. What are we doing today, Christus? Uh, we are going to play seven maps where our friend GMT is going to be the recipro reciprocator of uh, a lot of punishment. <laughs> One small hairy boy versus the world. Everybody hates GMT. <laughs> so these lads are going to get take out all of their uh, ag aggression on him for the coming hour. Oh my god, I'm, my beer is going over there. You haven't, haven't spelled the beer, have you, Christus? No, it's just a bit of foam just... Ever so slightly came over the top. We know all about it. So we're mm. going to start off with um, some, well, for, with a warm up, really. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to play. Be... Sorry, go on. It's going to be you yep. on, on aim one, which is uh, a practice map. Yeah, Doombringer's Dim version of Amphitheater, pretty much. Yeah. In this case, it's called the Crucible. Oh yes, it is. Just uh, a little bit better the name than Amphitheater. You think so? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that will only be for fi uh, five minutes time limit. Yeah. So just a quick well, warm up. Yeah. Well, it will give us a few nice frags. It won't drag on too long. After that, we'll go on to have a GMT phase. Uh, see, ya. I think it is Oni on. Yeah, Arrowwalk. Uh, Arrowwalk and block on this map. Yep. And then whatever happens after that happens. Hey, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. So why don't we get started then? Uh, Joel is currently, or GMT is currently, he's stretching a bit. Oh, he's so he stretching, said he'd be is he? <laughs> back in five, and that was three or four minutes ago. Okay, so play. He, he should be here any second. Hi, right, boys. There we go. There he is. Speak out of the devil. <clears throat> what have you been saying? You've been chatting shit? Always. We just said everyone hates you. That's, and that's why everyone wants to shoot you. Well, that shut him up. Yep. Fair play. Don't take your car keys. Don't take your energy. And take your car keys. A vote has been called. Uh, is the time limit set to five? <coughs> It is. is. Good stuff. Alright boys, I'll see you in a bit. Yep, catch you later mate, good luck. Oh shit! Way. He's talking shit, Chris. So are you gonna have a voice on while you do this? Yeah, I'll, I'll um... It's not like we're casting anything, are we? No. Three, I think I wouldn't two, be able to one, maintain this. <laughs> why don't... In this uh, warm-up, why don't you tell the viewers a little bit about Doombringer? what they can expect from the upcoming games. Um, I just realized I haven't posted the link to the stream on the Doombringer Discord. <laughs> which you can find, of course, uh, over at uh, the Doombringer website at doombringer.eu. So I'm gonna do that right now. Oh! Block was already way ahead of me. Uh, yeah, so Doombringer is, is, while we are playing multiplayer right now, it is a predominantly single-player focus game, which uh, has a multiplayer element to it, such as a dual TDM and cooperative single-player. But uh, since single-player takes a lot of time to develop, we're having a bit of fun with multiplayer in the meantime. 
I said has. I said it has been developed from a multiplayer basis, uh, just because that making a game uh, is hard and it's easier to make a small multiplayer game rather than a single player game. So, should it have been cancelled long ago, it would have at least been something that people could play rather than a whole lot of nothing. So yeah. people coming from games like Quick Live and stuff, what uh, mm -hmm. type of gameplay some mechanics can they expect compared to those types of games? A lot of people say the movement system uh, is like uh, VC3 on steroids, That's which is uh, probably fairer uh, assessment of it. It has it's not air controlled like other games are. More air control, like no other game is. Actually, thinking of it, actually has similar air control to dust. 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 Yeah. I suppose it does. Where it has uh, more strafing air control than uh, turning air control. Though dusk's air control is quite. I don't know. Hard to explain. You just spawned in the same place twice, Crystal? Yeah, because I made it to can't spawn in the same place twice, even though it's unlikely. I see. Because they made it so easy before. Wow, this is really close game. <laughs> Come on. Wait. Gazing point. But uh, yeah, so if you like uh, new old uh, games like Dusk and uh, Medieval and stuff like that, uh, then uh, you're probably going to find uh, some enjoyment, a lot of enjoyment out of Doom Bringer. And if you like uh, Quake Live and stuff, uh, like that, you're probably gonna like Dream Bringer as well, because it has a lot, a lot to offer for both those types of audiences. There's also a lot of inspiration taken from classic uh, Doom One, Doom Two, such as the uh, powerful shotgun. The movement system has some. Uh, Inspiration taken from Doom 2's movement system, and uh, of course, uh, single-player enemies will be a lot like taking a lot of inspiration from Doom 2's uh, fantastic enemy roster that I think hasn't been. Uh, I don't think any game has ever come close to having the same uh, kind of bestiary as as Doom 2. Wow, Crustus, that all sounds amazing. This game sounds awesome. You must have a massive team of developers working on something as good as this, surely? Uh, no, I don't. No? Unfortunately. It's, uh, I have Mastrop who helps making the sound effects. I have Primeval who's helping make the music. Then I have a Scarecrow who helps making maps. Um, and I have Joel and you and uh, Joel help making people Easy know clap. about the game. Awesome. That sounds fantastic. The rest I'm making, basically. Wow. No, what a guy. Feels what like I'm missing army. someone. <laughs> Shilling complete. Yeah. So let's get into it, Joel. You feeling confident against Oni? Against Oni, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, easy money. Easy money? Even on uh, even on Walk. Era? Yeah, he's never beat me on it before. Oof. Big words. Big words for such a small boy. I'm bigger well, than you. That's not true. Maybe with I weigh haircut. more than you these days, not, mate. Not when you get a haircut, you know. <laughs> Joel is, of course, hoping that only his uh, iPhone internet is just as good as it always is. Yeah. You wanna go with Spike Crustus? Somehow I was uh, in the queue. How did that happen? It must be the beer talking. Don't forget to change the time limit back to 10. Yeah, call the time limit right now.
A vote Do it. Being called. Uh, isn't that oh. 10 seconds? Isn't that in seconds? Nope. It's not? Nope. Okay. Uh, you just call only. vote time. You call vote. Ass. No, it's only. Only. Uh, you call vote in minutes. So if you have, want to have uh, like a half a minute, you have to call vote uh, zero point. Okay. Hi. A vote has been called. But then again, why would you want? Vote passed. And I'll fix the timers now. Tested it for four hours. Well, I didn't <laughs> test it for four hours. I uh, made a session that was running for four in-game hours. And then I boosted up to like 20 times the speed. And the time limit, the time limit on the side works all the way through. So. Hey, Cinnamon boys. Catch it a bit, mate. Good luck. Oh, so Joel. Oh, wait, he's gone. Uh, damn it. Uh, so this uh, version also has uh, online saving, so you can, whenever you pause the game, through Cobalt Pause, you actually can, uh, it will create a save state on oh, the yeah. so, server. Yeah, you can just go back to... So if you have a, That's cool. yeah, so if someone gets disconnected or something like that, it can have a... It's uh, I, it's not perfect yet because I want to make sure that even if someone hasn't called World Post, it would be able to return to a game. Yeah, nice one. Good. GMT off to a, a pretty half decent start here. He's not really getting on a second uh, rotation of items, although this red's going to be unchallenged by Oni. Yeah. He's doing all right. Oni does take that mega though. It's a, uh, it's a, it's a care careful slow start by both players. Yeah. Which is uncharacteristic characteristic for Oni. Uncharacteristic for Walk. Yeah, no, but sometimes he's no playing, you know. Sometimes you just have those slow airwalk where yeah. after two minutes it's the first frag or five minutes even. After yeah, that, it's usually open. These boys the does get the point blank rocket in his face. Yeah. Doesn't take much damage, so he's all right. Uh, for, set up first next thing. And he has uh, only coming first through frag. the window. That's all it is. Going aggressive yeah. with those uh, those eggy boys. So this isn't the one by one uh, recreation of Airwalk. It has a few doombringerism. Yeah. Never without his charm, doombringer. Only be going. Uh, only going to be getting onto that red. That's unfortunate for Joel. Looking for damage rather than looking for a uh, position on these other items. It's going to be lucky that he even gets this, to be honest. But I guess only was really good. Yeah. Nice play though to get on the Mega and set up for red. Joel has a mild lead here. Yeah, but well, we shouldn't push too hard. He's lost a lot of health. Not going to be able to go out, get on that next red, that's unfortunate. He had that unlock as well. All he had to do was stay on that side of the map. All it takes is a good hit, and yeah. then... That's the thing, the knockback on all the weapons in Doombringer is so extreme that if you get pushed out of position, uh, with those it can really hurt you. Yeah, the railgun, for instance, is uh, very useful to deny items with, especially on a map like uh, Dual 1, yeah. where you can push someone off uh, taking the ray... Uh, Taking the mega help. Yeah, or even if they jump in towards the red as well, you know, you can knock mm -hmm. them into the, into the lava on dual one. That's pretty good. But yeah, Complete the, cla the classic them. is peeking over an edge with railgun, and then someone rails you from the bottom, and it like throws you up in the air. And they can get a, they can get a second hit on that, no problem. Joel with the zoom LG. This is something you're gonna have to get used to tonight. Because you're gonna keep seeing oh, it. Yeah, you can uh, turn down the zoom a bit. <laughs> so we don't have to. We only know that it's zooming. Yeah. Nice shotgun play. Shotgun's so damaging in this game. It's uh. What, how, how much damage do the pellets do? Uh, so the pellets. Uh, uh, it's 32 pellets, and uh, together they do 144 damage. Yikes. 
think it's five damage a pellet. Yeah. No, it's not five damage. I moved it one before. Well, whatever it is, it's really uh, strong. And the pattern as well, it's, it's imagine like a Venn diagram with two circles. So our overlapping circles. So like in that very middle area, there's a lot of pellets that you can hit. So if you hit dead center, even at like range, the, the shotgun does a lot of damage. Yeah, but if you're gonna get most use of it, it's really a re risk-reward kind of weapon. Yeah, definitely. You go up in someone's face with it, you can destroy them instantly. So, yeah, with these uh, spawn frags, it's uh, a pretty much perfect weapon to... Yeah, because you spawn with 100 health in this, not like quick live burst, 1, 2, 5. Yeah, extremely, you're right, extremely low rate of fire on that shotgun, so if you miss your first shot, it's really mm. dangerous. Yeah, uh, shotgun is... What is the shotgun? Uh, like I said earlier, I was really tired, so... <laughs> no hitting good shots on Oni, keeping him at uh, arm length. Not much more you can do, and that's a really unfortunate spawn. Nice reel. Yeah, the shotgun is... the uh, fire rate is... Oni gets his first bag though with the, with the uh, lightning gun, but... That's another thing about Doombringer, ammo is never on your side. The weapon pickups don't give that much ammo, so only running out of LG instantly after that initial frag does walk straight into a big egg on those stairs. Again, not to get not having much uh, LG ammo. You really need to focus on the um, ammo boxes in this game. Yeah. You have to uh, make sure you pick those up. Otherwise, you're gonna be running dry a lot. Uh, Oni's got which... barely any ammo for any weapon because he hasn't been picking up uh, ammo boxes. So he needs to get on that now after getting this red. That's his. That's where he's lacking. There we go. Now he's got some lightning gun. A little bit of a pop up from Joe. Yeah, and he got more out of light. Yeah, he got more ammo now. So he'll be happy with that. Not ra uh, no real ammo though, there is real ammo. Oh, that's unfortunate. Where the fuck did that uh, grenade come from? I have no idea. It's. I don't think Joel even knows. It's a proper dream bringer, and Joel acknowledges it with a bang. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done by jo uh, Oni there. Yeah, that was solid, LG. Look for some. Uh, oh. There's Joel around the corner with the shotgun. Mm. Hate to see it. <laughs> you love to see it. <laughs> nice reel as well. Oh, the grenade! <laughs> well, I was hoping for only to do a bit of a run there. Right now, Joel is running away with the lead. Yeah, only can still come back though. He just oh, has to get that initial, initial uh, clean kill, you know? Yeah. What, yeah. with that frag, uh, it seems like. It uh, Joel relaxed a bit and starting to just uh, have some fun with it and throw away those uh, rails close quarter. Maybe pressing a bit too much here, only could punish this. Hmm. He plays it right. Takes I'm gonna a, follow take, on it. Takes a defensive approach instead. Just trying to be a ghost now when he is on the map. Joel doesn't know where he is. Yeah, I wonder what his plan is though, because he really, really... What is he hoping to achieve? Well, if, he he trying... can, if he can slow it down a bit, get some armor, then that, you know, if, like I said, all he needs is one clean kill, and then he can turn that around pretty quickly if he plays it right. Yeah, so it seems like he's looking for a so bit he, of a red armor here. Yeah, he doesn't want to fight, he wants to hit just, you know, some rails. Wasn't expecting um, Joel to come up behind him so quickly. Wait, that was oh, that's the forfeit. Oh, he disconnects. Ooh. Yikes. Easy clap! 15% <laughs> LG, who cares? 15% LG. Excellent. So who's up next, Block? Block on Tox. Block on Tox. Your your most favorite map is. Am I right, Joel? Mate, that's it, mate. That's most it. Most favorite map. Why am I in the queue? I don't know, mate. You joined it earlier. It's a shit game. 
Whoa. Oh, yeah, no way. I, I said, I'm no, we're no longer cheering for Joel. It's, the support ends now. You brought this on yourself. You were cheering for me? <laughs> Probably not. No. <laughs> no, we weren't. You gotta cheer for the new boys, not the old guard. The old guard. Apart from against Yamazaki, who's the really old guard. Yeah. A vote has been called. <coughs> he's Nessie's dead, he's not happy. Nessie's not happy about what you just said, Joe. In fact, none Nessie of Nessie can fuck his nan. Whoa. Suck his man, sorry. That's alright, I can wait. Be back in a bit. Brilliant. Good show. Hope you're all enjoying. Hey, we have Skyler in chat. Yeah, how's it going? Why is gonna, Skyler gonna playing? Jump around a bit. We should have had Skyler on. That's what. Let's see if we can get on. Let me show you some of the cool trick jumps you can do in this map, so if you're familiar uh, with this from... There we go, block is here. Cool jumps like this on the ramps. Uh, you can also get up here. Up to rail and stuff. But yeah, anyway, I'll let these players go on. I'm sure you'll see some of those jumps uh, in the coming minutes. Yeah. So this is like... Yeah, he's muted. Uh, so this is like uh, previously been established, uh, Joel's favorite map in yep. Anything ever? Terrible um, taste. Uh, Alan does not the beat. Doesn't have a shotgun. What's the point? Shotgun, yeah. so you don't know what you're talking about. I have to agree with uh, Joel though, that is a good map. So, we're having a little bit of warm up before. Yeah, Everyone is fighting for the time being. <laughs> Get ready pretty soon. Yeah, looks like Block is ready, and he has been practicing Probably. a lot today. Yeah, I've been playing played? with him as well. Uh, yesterday, yeah. actually. Yeah, he's been Let's playing with Nessie, Al, Joel. GMT on the Mega Spawn Block just Three, around the corner. One. Probably going to get Five. that. Uh, Block's going to get his favorite weapon first. Joel on the Mega Yellow, going for the Reds. Oh, there's a <laughs> lovely Eggy boy from Block. Joel's not gonna get it down from here. Fucking hell! Oh, <laughs> um, the Eggy wow. boys all around. Joel coming back though with his own frag. That was uh, so no items up for another five seconds. Why are they gonna be splitting around. these yellows? Yeah, looks like it. All setting off the red. Oh, Joel walking right out, out into that rocket. That's not good. Gonna be getting on this mega though. Block takes the red. Both got decent weapon stack. Block lacking in LG ammo though. That being his favourite weapon could hinder him a little. Joel is way early for this red. Doesn't know that there's yellow up elsewhere. Block's gonna just walk in with that LG and destroy him. The ammo did not pro. Yeah, the ammo wasn't an issue. <laughs> yeah. Block all gonna be suckering back for this red. Mega's up for TMT if he can take it. He does. Oh, right in the back before he goes in the tail. I'm surprised that didn't send him flying right out. One thing I know you like about this map though, Alan, is that it's a premier map for uh, discharge. Oh yeah, definitely. Love a discharge, hopefully we'll see one. Oh, Block just with these magnetic rockets. 
He's showing Joel that he should have been the one in the gauntlet. <laughs> oh, again? Oh, Jesus Christ. The directs just come to this man. Rail's not so hot though. No. So we're getting that mega. I don't think it's going to help him much though. Although he does push the block back pretty well. He's kind of low though. Kind of low now. But TMT with no armor is just going to get shredded by that LG. They do both end up pretty low block. Thinks GMT may yeah. have taken that red. Oh, if he just stayed around for one second longer, he would have saw it spawn. That's something I noticed GMT do a lot of it as well. He has a fight at the red and then just leaves it there yeah. because he just assumes someone took it. Yeah, you gotta play this map fast, so you know, if you think just for a minute that someone's. If that item isn't coming up, then you need to move on and see what else you can get. No, definitely, you don't want to get caught there at the red either. No, it's not a place to hang around. So it is understandable why you choose to do so. So I can't stand up to that LZ, but Locks uh, not going to push it anyway. Probably yeah, should he, have it maybe. Yeah, I might have plenty of LZ ammo. But he didn't have plenty of health though. So. Ah, there's about the same as Joel before the red. Yeah, he's suffering now. Joel been getting a uh, good chip damage onto him. Joel, are you gonna stick around for this mega? Yeah, he knows it's coming up. Just gotta get back to that red quick enough. And there we go. Well, uh, leave it to block. Block taking the red. Yeah. Pushing oh, down. Oh, that's that's a bad move. Yep. And then he discharges into the water <laughs> out of slime. And uh, this red hasn't come up for a while. Oh. Bang! Pop, pop! <laughs> Joe walks by the rocket ammo, but he does get some eventually. Oh, Block did not have an eye, uh, did not notice that Joe was in there somehow. Nice. Confident. Yeah, there's not a lot of, there's not a lot of room down there. You won't fit next to him. Oh, Joel! Get banged on, mate. Look at this. Four to six. Joel used to be known as uh, the thrower. Used to be? Well. He's still got time to throw this. He is in the. Uh, what's the word for it? Uh, rebound mode here. Yeah. Oh, that rocket. Straight down. Uh, a few licks of the LG, and then pop the, pop the pimple. Oh, it takes a lot of LG damage in the back. That's the thing about Block, he has a uh, really, really good shaft. So GMT has to be uh, wary of that. Those magnetic rockets for both these players still coming out. I was practicing a bit with Block on AIM before we started, and he was hitting 30 LG to my 25 on aim. Yep. That's some there, magnificent. 30 LG is impressive in this game, by the way, for those of you who are not aware. Yeah. LG is pretty hard to hit. Regardless of online or offline. Yeah, it's, it's a bit easier to hit offline, but not um, definitely not easy. Not like Quick Live or Quick Champions. You know, it's pretty hard. Mm. But, um, so 30 LG is... When you, when you can hit, the, the, the damage on the LG is... It's almost 200 DPS, isn't it? It's like 180. Yeah. 180, yeah. 180, that's but, insane. But and it also has... As well. It can just lift you off your feet so easily. Yeah, so if you get caught in the midair, you can really be get pinned by it. And yeah. the LG also lifts you a little bit. So if you are jumping and someone LG is you, kind of... Can if you hit a lot of it, like a lot, a lot, then you can kind of keep you juggled like that. Yeah. Probably notice that sometimes when he sort of makes someone hover in air almost. Of course, an upback helps with that as well. So this game's slowing down a little bit now. Block don't not want to give yeah, Joel a win. Engage right now. 
Um, Joel's just two frags down. We can make that up very easily. Well, let's get on to this. Uh, Ooh, that's 180 damage. But... Yeah, that was a lot of damage coming out from Block. He could capitalize on this, but there's no armor on the map to speak of. Joel just has to find them before he gets any good weapons, and it looks like he's going to be able to push him back to that rocket. Very risky fight there for Joel. Had to take it though. Block with no ammo. All he had to do was hit that shot, and he did it. Now they are to right. right in the keister. Yeah. Joel will be happy. He needs to play it safe though, like I said. Um, Block is really dangerous. He even gets, you know, one or two weapons, he has to be careful. I'm gonna go in and rely yeah, on his shaft and get the uh, quick one rocket. Joel is uh, the one who knows the game, whereas mm. Block is the one who has the mechanics on his side. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's certainly a matter of mind versus brawn at this time moment. So it looks like Joel might be, things might be falling apart for Joel right here. Block took the red and he's mm. going to get um, get on that yellow as well. So he's got pretty good armor stack. Set him up for this next red. Right. Joel has to do something about it. Joel has shit. Mm, he's not going to be able to do it. He does get a spawn on red though, but doesn't survive long enough to steal it away. That was... Lighting up. Consistent uh, mega Wait. timing, at least. Yeah, not not much you can do about that. Here comes the throw. <laughs> Here comes the throw. Uh, block really stacked. There's not much Joel can do. He just has to try and keep him out with that railgun. He hit these ridiculous rockets, but he does manage to get blocked down quite well. Nice. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. See, the, the random spawns can really be a pain in the ass when, you know, they spawn right next to someone on full stack and get killed instantly. But it also works both ways like that. Lock spawn right on the rail, which gave him the perfect opportunity to back him before he could get that red. One minute. Yeah, and we saw that in... These spawns. I know a lot of people um, aren't, maybe aren't uh, much of a fan of these, like, random spawn drags, but it has a double-edged sword. Yeah, like we saw that in the start of the map as well, where Block killed Joe and then Joe spawned right next to him, yeah. and pretty much just shaved off that last, the last of his, last of his health. Yeah, and just the, the, uh, the initial turn. Nice yeah. rocket, uh, nice rocket ball. Needs to keep pressing, but running out of ammo, and yep. <laughs> wow, this game is really going into... Yeah. Ah, there we go. Joel imagine if I had even half his LG. Like, just imagine <laughs> if I had any of his LG skill. Well, technically, he's yeah, 28, no, no, you're no, no, 17, I mean, so you have skill. <laughs> half his skill. You, you have half his LG. <laughs> I don't have half his LG skill, that's just congratulations on having not dyspraxia. <laughs> Some of us have actual disabilities, and we got people like this running around thinking they're hot shit because they don't. <laughs> Time mega! Once in your life. <laughs> <laughs> you were on the mega timing at that point that out. I was on the mega like a bastard, Alan! He was. <laughs> oh, good time. Is it Yammer's time? Times. Yeah. I wonder Looks what like map it. we're gonna play. Oh. Which which are left? It's Nessie and Panic Borg, so I think we should take oh, Panic boy, after good. this, and then Nessie after... <laughs> And then finish off it with Alan. It's shit. These people that can aim. <laughs> but they can't time Mega. <laughs> they don't need no stinking Megas. They can aim. <laughs> the, sad, uh, the sad truth of Aruna FPS yeah. in 2020. <sighs> <laughs> Ah, oh, Block, you gave us a good show and a uh, raging it's Joel. A good match. Everyone loves it. Except Joel, of course. He's known for his timing in QL. He's, <laughs> he's fucking not. I was timing everything, boys. The only success I had with combat was on the bloody grenades. Did you see that, though? Did you see the triple grenade? Triple grenade? 
Yeah, I hit him three times with a grenade while rushing him down. I don't remember that. I that do remember sick. you eating two directs at, at, yeah. at the start of the game. Yeah, oh, the beginning. That was, uh... that was sick. I loved that. It was great. <laughs> Be back in a bit. Prepare to fight. What a guy. And we're just getting uh, thrown right into the next one. Yeah, so he, if anyone doesn't know, Yama is going to absolutely molest Joel on this map. One. Fight. So look oh, forward definitely. to that. Yama is uh, one of those uh, hardcore one or two map players. Yeah, one map wonder. He is a good player, uh, but he would be more formidable if he played more maps. Yes, he says Joel's gonna win. Seventy-five percent. Mm, there we go. Good so far. Oh, that was almost a, a rocket. GMT just not aware of his, his surroundings. Yeah, aggressor is one of those maps where you have pretty much set strategy for the map. There's. Uh, and if you don't like that strategy, you're probably gonna dislike them. Oh, Joel though, with what? the shotgun. Nice! Excellent, Frank. Sneaking in with a tele teleporter. May maybe I should... Uh, maybe I'll eat my words. <laughs> but yeah, uh, controlling that rocket launcher is pretty much uh, the best way to control the map game. In. It's mandatory for this map. There's only one rocket and it's in the middle of the map, so if you can keep your opponent off of that, then then you can There's a lot, there's a lot of situations room. where they, they will struggle to stay alive, you know? Yeah, and this room is uh, where you want to be pretty much all the time. taking it slow though, he's not uh, pressing too hard. He knows that he, he's mm -hmm. up against someone who's definitely better than him on this map, I'd say. Mm. Well, has more experience, you know? Yeah. If he if he if he's not careful, he knows that he's going to pay for it. Yeah. Even with that, look at that. Like Joe. Had, oh, never mind. I was just gonna say Joe had a yeah. a, a safe pickup for that red, and then all of a sudden Yam is there with rocks. But it doesn't matter. Joe knows his uh, his real angles. Yeah, that's something uh, Joel showed me that his uh, use of the rail in this map is pretty. Impressive, actually. Yeah. A lot of people don't use the real that much here. It's yeah, it's a small close quarters map. Yama is doing going. great damage with that, uh, that shotgun, but Joel knows the rotation. Timing mega like a beast. Oh, he fell off. Uh, I was going to get it. <laughs> Deer in the headlight situation. Yeah. Oh, this is actually not a too bad position, like down at the bottom of those stairs push out. Because you can push someone like up and off the platform. Pop up and then shotgun. Yeah. Oh, he made a fist! <laughs> Fists are about as easy to hit as the, axe the in, as the axe in Quake Light. Uh, Quake World. Which is not very. At least you get 40 damage instead of 20. Looks like Yama might be a little bit tilted. He's just going in there. That was a kind of a mistake for him to jump down like that, but Joel not punishing it. Not as much as he should have anyway. Yeah. Joel Yama. seems to be running on adrenaline right now. <laughs> probably from the last game. Well, I think he's, he seems he's quite composed in this match. Yeah, but his movement is. Uh, it's Fine. always like, like that. It's always like that, though. Yeah, we're doing good work to bring him down, but uh... oh, look at that! That's going to spell bad news for Joel. Uh, yeah, Joel is dying. Out there. He is dying. Or not? I can't believe he's going to survive this. Oh, oh and he gets and a get a frag. Yama does get on that rocket instantly though, and this is what we're talking about. Like, controlling that rocket is so important on this map. Oh, oh, oh. Beautiful. Get fucking bang. That's a doom. Not in 
these rockets. Although Yama not doing too much with the shotgun, he's like Yama. He did, he did a little bit like chip damage, but nothing substantial. Hmm. Jamma is on the way back here. And Joel needs to make, keep oh. doing what he did before, where he basically paused the game. Yeah. And right now, yeah, my. He. Oh, I guess getting... both major items. Oh! The levers are shot to uh, GMC's face, but he is going to get that spawn under the, under the rocket, so GMC is good. At least for a little bit. Just a little bit, though. <laughs> Narrowly missing Yama's face. Or Joel's face, rather. Mm. This is just halfway point yeah. so far. And it's a great match so far. Feels like so much has happened. Yeah, it does. Joel not hitting a single lack of LG <laughs> in that engagement. Or anything else. <laughs> oh, that was so close. Ooh. These tight corridors make it really easy to spam uh, spam rockets into, and Yama certainly knows how to do that being a quick world player. Oh. Joel just had to get hit a little bit of LG there. Yeah, not going to be good for you to just stand around waiting for items on this map. Why, why did Yama, Yama not pick up that health though? Um, Every little bit health. Oh, next nice LG. Oh, oh. Game Yeah, Very close. Yama oh, is... This is it. Oh, Joel! That was so close. Yama was on 16 health there, for a sec. Yeah. Nice. Yama bringing it back. Like an absolute Going into major. the meat grinder. This is what I'm talking about with the, uh, the RL spam, and you've got tons of ammo here. You mean it? Like, two ammo yeah. packs right by then. So you can, you can sit in this room and spam for a while. If you get the rocket launcher in this... You basically never don't have to worry about the ammo. Yeah. There's so much there's, ammo. Yeah, there's tons of ammo actually as well. Like other than the ones at the, uh, the rocket. Going to be there we floating, go. Uh, floating LG <laughs> across. It's floating there. Oh. Floating, floating Joel. Yeah, floating <laughs> Joel across the middle of the map here. There you go. I got there in the end. So, sort of like Thor in the Avengers. All the items up. Joe's gonna be taking that mega. Maybe getting on the yellow? Nah, he doesn't wanna. Oh, there he is, never mind. Not gonna play out. Yeah, Yamasaki opted to do damage instead of taking the item. Let's see, I switched uh, to Joel's. It actually worked really there. well. Um, Joe got this real. Uh, he needs to slow down and, and play these angles. He needs to just stay away from the angle. And that's not how you do it. That was uh It was playing Harry Potter. Yeah. <laughs> nice shotgun. There we go. Shotgun comes out to the rescue. He and the mega for this uh, for this red. But he knows that, thankfully. Needs weapons. More than anything else right now. That's gonna go for that rocket launcher. I'm not contested. Yeah. Yama has very little right now, so... I think the shotgun's a mistake here, he should be on the rocks. Right there we got corner. it. Managed to get a rail through there. Oh, not only I misses, not only misses that shotgun blast by going through the telly. Has got the timing on that mega though. As he should do it. Oh, he's not gonna show up for that red though, is One he? Minute remaining. Yama, Yama really no, don't have to do much here though, because... Joel has to be the one who yeah. drives its game home. That's what I mean, look, he, he, that's the second time he baited Joel at that red light. He should have known. I'm not very good at this game. You, you had that match, and then you gave it away. Gave it away. Last Christmas, I lost Doombringer. <laughs> the very next day, I lost my Doombringer. Then I Joel. lost my Doombringer. Uh, yeah, man. Your ping is going all over the place for a sudden. That's alright. That's alright. Uh, maybe you were just tabbing out or something. 
because it yeah, went down again. Yeah, it's uh, panic. solidified again. A vote is passed. It's the Bork panic. Oh, this map. So panic picking this map as it's a uh, CPM port. Uh, doesn't have a railgun, so Joe, I think Joe's at a little bit of a disadvantage there. Although, although Panic has an excellent rail, so... So yeah, this map's yeah. gonna play out fast like Aero Walk. So what do you... Alan, what do you say is Panic's strength as a player? Panic's strength? Um, he's... I think... I don't want to say he's not like a hitter, but he does have solid aim. You know? When he's presented with a situation, you can guarantee that he's gonna get some damage out of it. Yeah, I remember Joel talking about how Panic was very calm and collected player. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. And completely focused on task at hand. Yeah. Not letting his emotions get a hold of him. Yeah, definitely keeps himself composed. And stays on these items. I'm gonna switch over to Panic Board just because watching Joel's a little bit painful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm getting a bit of a... Getting fucking seasickness over here. Yeah. What? Uh, epileptic warning. Yeah, yeah. Epilepsy. See, so yeah, that's another thing about panic. He knows he's going to back off as well. And like I say, having the experience on this map oh. is to spam certain uh, parts to get, you know, little bits of chip damage, certain walls and stuff. Yeah, oh, that rock was oh. so close to hitting yeah, as well. Yeah, and another one. Think. Holy shit. I'm gonna turn off follow killer. Yes, yeah, I think I should do that as well. Yeah. I'm getting onto this red, but it's not gonna do that. It's not gonna do that well for him. Joel is right on him. Panic uh, managed to push Joel like, towards him first, and then he managed to revert that and push him back again. But <laughs> that unfortunately, bring it does be that way. <laughs> yeah, but unfortunately, Joel still got that red. And... Oh, nice! It steals the yellow from him. But it comes back to get the mega. But watch out for these grenades; they're really dangerous. See, that's something I find about having played Panic on this map. I feel like he takes that uh, he takes that jump pad way too often. Time station. Yeah, it's a pretty bad place to be most of the time. Yeah. Sort of like puts you on the display of, hey, come and shoot me. Oh, nice! Be pushing Joel back down that, uh, back down that very same jump pad. Not going to be able to capitalize on it though. But Joel has no panic. Gets us mega, so he's in a pretty good position if he can get a uh, get a little bit of armor, maybe. But that's going to be pretty difficult now. Uh, Joel is uh, camping that mega like he. Like knows that's all the yellows up as well. Um, Wait. Yeah, Joel, way uh, too early for this for this mega. Yeah. He's gonna give up the rest a, of the items. Uh, that was a nice move by Panic. Unfortunately, he didn't get any damage of it. But you can definitely see where his mind where his mind oh. is going. Ah, uh, there we go. Now he's getting those damages. In. Damage. Yeah. So it's definitely in a stack advantage here, but now Joel is starting to get those yellows. Uh, panic just getting pushed back for this uh, Joel's LG. Maybe Joel's not as bad of a hitter as he thinks he is, that's really unfortunate for Panic. Failing that rocket jump is just going to put him in the perfect position for Joel just to swoop in and clean it up. Oh yeah, I mean Joel has pretty good algae. Uh, he says as he messes everything. 
but it, I think it has a tendency to fall apart when he's yeah. pacing someone is uh, a lot, a fair bit better than him at it. Because, I mean, LG tends to be dependent a lot on how good your own, uh, your opponent is, really. Yeah. a lot of damage. Like that might not seem like a lot of damage, like those four pellets, but that's a hundred damage to just get done. Yep. You know? That's like yeah, a direct rocket. gun is uh, dangerous. I uh, can't tell exactly if you did hit them as well, uh, because if you just uh, did uh, like the splash damage, oh. you would get... Oh, there we <laughs> go! That? Was that his own? That wasn't his own grenade, was it? No, that was panic. That was panic, grenade. yeah. That was an insane grenade. Where the fuck did that even come from? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> it went on a mission. <laughs> Alright, go. Gonna there get, we go. I'm gonna catch GMT just hanging around on the thread, not having the timing. This is going to be his opportunity to start uh, getting his spawn frag spot. See if he gets a good spawn. Oh, that was so fucking close. He should have gone with the LG tuna there because. Damn. Um, that was. That would have been a fucking fantastic rocket. It would have been, I agree. But now he died. But there we go. What Got a crater on uh, Joe instead. And then he caught him at the yellow. At the same place. I I have hope for the panic here. There, there, there exists a universe where everything is the exact same as this one, but panic hit that air rocket. That's oh, yeah. the universe I want to live in. It's a better universe, definitely. So then we would have been talking about that for quite a while. <laughs> yeah. Frag that went down in history. Oh. These oh. grenades are going to be... <laughs> and the cheeky pistol yeah. shot as well, man. So close to death. Yeesh. Let's have some more Aggie boys, lads. That's what I want to see. It's easy done on this map as well. Oh, that's good rock is coming around the corner. Panic board does kill himself though, unfortunately. Don't get the better spawn. Interesting, Joel didn't hear him come up though, come up that jump pad. Yeah. I think gonna clean it up while he's really really low. Ignores those two HP bubbles, this could be a big mistake. Did you know that Joe, when he's on voice and playing, yeah. he hasn't doesn't have sound, he says. Yeah, don't listen to the, don't listen to the, the lies of Joel. <laughs> Talks a lot of the rubbish, that boy. Uh, this isn't a, a tournament, it's just a GMT versus the world kind of thing, where Joel faces all these different players on different maps. More of a showcase than anything else. A little bit of fun uh, pastime event. Yeah, everyone's smashing Joel. We all love it. Yeah. If someone can, wants to come and smash Joel, then uh, join us on Discord and... Uh, Hit him up on Tinder. Yeah. Ask for a key and you'll be in, basically. So I, I basically decided to, whenever I want someone else for a key, I just hand it over to them because someone has already found the game and find it interesting. I don't think it's going to hurt to give them a key so they can play right away. 
Joel feeling confident, you can tell by the amount of 360s that he's doing. There you go. You don't know how right you are, Block. <laughs> you flatter me, my friend. Ten seconds left. Unfortunately, back panic did not uh, make uh, any dividends of this uh, play. We'll see how it is at the next uh, LAN event when everyone is uh... COVID free, hopefully. Yeah. Actually, I had a family member pass away just this week. Fucking hell, Chris, this way to bring it down. I mean, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> yeah. Fucking no, hell. Yeah. It's, um... uh, so stay safe. Yeah, definitely. Stay safe. It's um, it's trying times out there. <coughs> Nessie up next though, I believe. Yeah. Wonder what the gonna be. Is it gonna be GT4? I think it will. Oh, I think it's gonna be GT4, boys. Oh, it's only How are you? GT4. Joel, yeah, I kind of wished you w would have lost that one. Yeah, we're all we're sitting here wanting you to lose, and you're not doing it. I didn't, mate. <laughs> <laughs> It was a good game, but only made a lot of nice plays, but just couldn't seem to get the damage he needed a lot of time. Yeah, and my uh, my rocket shotgun combos, just insane attackers, really. Yeah. Some of the finest play I think anyone's ever seen. Mm. Boys getting a bit cocky. All right, Nessie, fucking take this cunt down a peg, please. Just give me a sec, I gotta uh, crack all my joints. Yeah. Because they're so. Crack out the joints, mate. Mm. Because Joel is an old man. Very old man. A tiny he's little born old. old. He, he's like the Benjamin Bot. Oh, only he's just getting older. He started old. It's going to turn into dust right before our eyes. That's me. <coughs> How does it feel, Joel? It was the right mode. I feel like I'm playing okay. Oh, I was thinking about how how you old out old an old man. Oh wait, you died to a grenade on Mega in that match. Where the fuck did that grenade come from? I thought it was your own. Yeah, I thought it was mine. <laughs> yeah, because you were one second you're firing grenades like directly up into the and the next minute you just fucking explode. Yeah, I was panicked grenade. I'm prepared to get shafted. I don't think this is going to go well, but that'll be cool because then it'll set up me versus Al for the decider who wins GMT or the world. <laughs> I feel like you're putting a lot on my shoulders, Joe. Specifically yeah. the world. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, me and uh, Joe played it earlier today, and it's definitely not this strong. Fucking rude, Chris. That was good, LG. Joel, we'll just do that again. Can't do it in actual games, man. That was 41% LG. Do you, do you disagree with my assessment, Joel? No, this map is cursed. It's got to be said. This map is excellent. It is excellent, but it's also cursed. I really like playing it. Especially against Joel, even though I lost. Alright, that's enough for that. I'm Felt good. Yeah, let's go. Come on. I'm fucking starving here, Joel. Let's get this done with. Man needs to eat. Let's see what spawns have we got. Both spawning in this red room. Let's see if they clash. Yeah. Only if Joel tries to go for this red, which he doesn't, he goes for the other first. He's gonna hear yeah. Nessie get that red, so he's gonna rush over to Mega. Yeah, they probably take him the information he needs, but Nessie's not gonna miss that wave. Oh, Eggy Boy. And Eggy Boy to the rescue. Still though. I don't know what Ness is doing because uh, those two last second raids, those were not. Uh, I don't know what well, what it was trying to hit. So when and out, throw a bunch of fucking grenades about. Yeah. 
not gonna work out for Joel though as Nessie gets that first frag on the red. He hasn't taken it yet though. Doesn't matter. Oh, disgusting LG, mate. Mm -hmm. oh, Joel's spawning behind him as well. There's nothing you can do about that. So Nessie's just mess gonna just gonna suck over this map, take all the items, come back and find Joel and LG him from there. Nessie ma messed up that re red jump twice. Yeah. And in the, in the end, it just made things work out for him in a way. Because yeah. Well, that's just goes Joel. to show that these kids are all aim and mm. nothing else. <laughs> but that's all it takes. Yeah. We need it. We this need is a, a very small brain uh, genre of games. What you need to do is point at someone. Uh, I mean, yeah, in the more. In the area we are <laughs> finding ourselves in, I do agree. You can uh, overcome. I mean, Nessie, in less than two minutes, has acquired eight frags. Yep. And I think it's more Joel's fault than Nessie's. Uh, well, there you go. There you have it, the folks. Fish. It's Joel's fault. But. Yeah, so... Joel did get a frag a minute ago, and let's see if we can try and capitalize on that, but... Oh, Nessie very low now. Joel just needs to... just needs to tickle him. Just a little tickle. Don't give him a kiss, Joel. That'll kill him. I wonder if... Wonder if Block is coming to the next team combat. I think he was going to come to the previous one, but obviously, Corona. Mm. Nice rail. I think it's going to be a really good one. Yeah, it's going to be sick. I can't believe Nessie survived. Two yeah, kills. I don't. I can't believe he hit that rocket. <laughs> Joel is uh, being a bit too well, Nessie predictable. Is all, Nessie is all rockets according to Block. <laughs> what do you think about that? I disagree. I, dis I disagree. Uh, because he is quite uh, adept at the ray lighting gun, and his ray gun is also there. <laughs> it's there. It's in the back. Yeah, block, but you're also a really strong LG player, so... Definitely the thing that might separate you would be the thing that uh, topples him over, you know, or you. Ness's LG is quite strong. Uh, the rails, the close range rails, that's just like hanging yeah. shaft. Maybe you just click once. Point and click game. If you, pretend, if you pretend you're hanging shaft and aim rail that way, it's easy. Not a good real switch, but it's all not going to be able to punish it. I think uh, also it's important to remember that when you play someone you know, you play a different game than you play someone you are less familiar with. Yeah, probably. Because you know what you can get away with, or and you know what you need to do a lot more. That was actually a nice jump to the red from Nessie, using that, uh, yeah. that uh, strong sideways movement that Jimbringer has to sort of uh, half beat straight across. Mm. Oh, he's behind them. <laughs> <laughs> Nessie with <laughs> literally zero fucking spatial awareness here. It is going to eat that egg right in front of Joel's face. And that is quite oh. impressive with all the water oh, moving. Oh, Nessie! <laughs> Did he create her? <laughs> Yeah. No way. That's so ridiculous. remember last time we had um, lo the last Saturday night fight, uh, oh, the Joel... Sunday Saturday slaughter. Sorry, but uh, Joel just lets Nessie walk in and take that man from right in front of him. That's ridiculous. Did. Sorry, go on, Christus. Uh, I don't remember who I'm playing right now because everything is a blur. <laughs> but uh, one player got shot in the head by another one. And that made him move towards the ground very quickly. Yeah. 
Oh. That. So that's something that happens sometimes in Doombringer. Nessie with the BM with the humiliation punches Joel right in the chin. I just realized I don't have weapon models turned on, sorry folks. You should have a stream uh, CFG. I should. I I should I should make a UI for switching CFGs. Yeah. Uh anyway. So you can get craters in moments where you don't expect them, basically. In this no case, it was, I think uh, Joel was just popped up yeah. far Didn't expect to... to win that one. Didn't expect to. <laughs> and in the other case, it basically made the other player fall faster towards the ground, which made him crate against the ground, basically. So I guess it's my turn then. I think it's good that I had as much beer as I've had by now, so I can be a vote has been called. commenting, because I'm not sure if Alan should be on voice now, because then I can't all talk right, about the right, game. Cheers, everyone. Well, yeah, the this stream, is the, the final. Gonna hear. Vote Pistus. Wait, so the stream isn't going to hear me? Right. No, how is it going to hear a you if I'm muted? <laughs> yeah, you got a good point oh, there. I can't, uh, this is a bug that I noticed, Christus, by the way. I can't F1. I can't vote. It says already voted or connected during the vote. Yeah, because you connected during the vote. I didn't know. Vote failed. If, if, and uh, the first Joel one, and the first the vote. vote. But not the second vote. Hmm. So well, I'll try again. A vote has been called. Does it work? Can Joel Joel vote? Yeah. 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 But me and Nessie face, uh, had that issue. Or maybe it, it was if Block. you, what? Me and Block had that issue before mm. the, uh, the other day. And mm. I think we end up just reconnecting to the server. Yeah. It's alright. It's alright. Calm down. It's fine. This is tiring, boys. Playing seven games in a row. Yeah. Yeah, mate. Imagine being uh, Tim. No. Oh. Two game Tim. <laughs> <laughs> I've been dueling Tim and Martin recently. Yeah. Or so Joel asked me earlier today, wanna play some duel? And I said, yeah, in a sec. Uh, and then I came in like 15 minutes and said, okay, let's go. And then he was already playing Martin. Yeah, I'm gonna go get my duels in. And then Alan yeah, asked for some games and block out for some games and I got all the games in. You play quick games, light. Games, games, games. Games, games, games. Yo. All right, right Alan. I know, I play quite, quite, quite a bit now, and I play another game as well, but we don't talk about that one. Right. <laughs> it's Valorant. It's Valorant. Mm. He plays Valorant. I don't. Play yeah, but quick, if, like, if, you, if you need practice, Joel. Of quick course I need practice. Not gonna I'm a whole shit at this game. I just lost to Mike. Quick live is not going to cut it. It was awful. I, look, Chris, do you not think I regret it enough? <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, ladies. Shut up, yeah. Swedish dab. <laughs> I'll have right. you know I'm Ian McKellen and. Ian? No. <laughs> Ian. Ian. Sir Ian McKellen. Joe is. Yeah, the guy that I never can remember the name of. Patrick Stewart. No, in... oh yeah, well, that works. So... Hang on, I kind of want to meet Patrick Stewart now. Right, Alan. Any last words? Out of the two, uh, Ian show. is definitely the hairy one. Cheers, Alan. Cheers. Sweat me. Alright, bud. Have a good time. Yeah, you too. I'm going to mute myself, and then we're going to get into this game. Uh, you won't have any commentary during this game, unfortunately. No, don't mute yourself, Alan. No, it's fine. I don't no. want to get. I don't want to have an advantage. We can just. All right. Okay. Don't, don't don't reveal any we, information, and we'll just. We, uh, we won't talk about I, the game. I just will just follow you. Better, I won't mute myself. Oh, banter duels then. Even better. We finish with a banter duel. It's Big JT with the red spawn. <laughs> <laughs> it will be memes all along. Yeah. Uh, Oh, nice rail, Alan. Enjoy that one, you piece of shit. Uh, and here we have Joel 
failing like a failed breakfast. Like a failed breakfast? <laughs> what the fuck is a failed breakfast? I have no idea. Christus, are you alright? No. Oh. Yeah. How many, bang how many bangs was that, Joe? Like three? Bang! Bang! That's a two banger. A <laughs> two banger. Pop, pop. Pop, pop's never gonna work, Chris. Yeah, Chris, it. sort yourself out. You're not even our real dad. <laughs> oh, I have rails. nothing. Yeah, I have nothing original to offer then. Hang on, I'll, I'll go in the back room. Okay, bye. Mm. Enjoy. Come on, move on. You may have been able to tell from all the spectating of me. You've. Yep. Yeah. So, considering everyone is watching Alan now, uh, one thing that uh, people tend to miss is Wait. that you can uh, pistol jump in this game. Helps you get over some gap. I need to add a sound effect to the ray gun running out of ammo. Or oh, change Joe. Ammo. You've done me. I've got no ammo. Fuck. Oh! <laughs> uh. Calm down. One overpowered gun. You would have been dead with. Any gun in that situation. Let him have his little wine. Besides the point. Let him have his little. <laughs> Christus! Alan, do you what, deny mate? that every weapon oh, has. Oh, calm down, points? Christus. It's a fucking joke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but I. I think I have a bit of a connection to this game. What is it? Every bit of shit is you. Hooray! Love this game though, Chris. I'm joking. Love you too, mate. Except when you don't. Yeah, apart from then, of course. What is that sound? Yeah. Okay, so we have a um, game going here, and uh, I'm not sure what to say now, other than just trash. Bang! 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 Okay, that was a lot of bang. One might say it was banging. Bang. Oof! The lava is very unforgivable. Forgivable. Forgiving. Forgiving both. Unforgivable. I never forget very that lava. <laughs> <laughs> and neither should, nor should you. Come on, Alan, you can do it. I can't. Yes, it would be uh, amusing to have a game, uh, p uh, a, ah, sorry, <clears throat> an esports centered game. Like, what's... No, no, yeah. no, we have established this. I am old. I have dementia. <laughs> True enough. <laughs> That's your dad you're talking uh, about, Joe. <laughs> your dad. <laughs> Tim Tom Dad. Uh, <laughs> I love the idea of a land dad. <laughs> <laughs> I have to look after him though, this doesn't work! <laughs> oh yeah, I had to look after him at the last land as well. <laughs> I remember that, that was a good time. Oh, that was Just rough. sitting in the chair looking like a fucking ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Just oh, gone. I had to sleep in the bed with him that night. <laughs> it was dodgy. Not in the same bed. Yeah. Do you not remember? 
I know we had a bottle of wine at the end of the night. But, uh... Yeah, no, we were in the same bed, Chris. Joel, I think you're imagining it. No, the final night of, like, the one where we were at land. Yeah. Wait. In the little, like, the riverside house. We were oh, in the yeah, same bed. Riverside. <laughs> so Joel did not to sleep on the floor. <laughs> no, I was tired. I'd been landing all day, I had a very sore voice. Sore voice. Oh, I shut up, oh, Alan, like you've ever cast in a day in your life! That's all I've been doing all day today, mate. My voice is gone. <laughs> Good work, though, Alan. Good work. Cheers, mate. Really, really lovely. Anyway, so, yeah. Uh, Team Con Diabolical is... Wait. Probably the first arena FPS that has a dedicated uh, probable, probable, uh, proper rank system. Who knew rank would be something for an esports e centered game to have? How many bevies you have? Uh, one very big one. <laughs> big boy bevy. Big boy bevy. Uh, it's, it's like a wine bottle. And it's ten percent. Wait, so, nice jump. So it's, a, so it's tipsy Christus. It sounds yeah. like absolutely paralytic Christus from being No, like. it's not. Did you take the reds? Yeah. You fucking rat. He didn't. He didn't oh. take the reds. Railed. This is the beauty of banter duels. Ah, you stepped on my face! Dead indeed. This is the Muppet no. Show. Welcome. You just call me a Muppet? Yes. Do you disagree? Yeah. Okay. And I apologize. That was easy. <laughs> I haven't used a shotgun this whole game. That's your problem then. That's why you're losing. I'm about to beat the entire world. That's I think, um, Joel, Alan, what, uh, so a lot of times the question that comes up from people watching this game is, uh, why is it, how is this different? And uh, what would you say makes this game end different? From uh, TPMA, Quake Live, etc. Well, if you're in, if you want to know if your question is what role does this game fit in Arena FPS, it's uh, imagine CPM if CPM was VQ3 movement, and that's essentially where I'd put uh, that's where I'd put Doombringer on the uh, spectrum as it is for Arena FPS. Now, as an expert in spectrums, I I would agree. Hmm. Is that a good thing, though? I think it yeah, is. It's, we love it's an interesting thing that we haven't really seen before, I don't think. Hmm. Like, uh, VQ3, but faster. Way I fucking created. Yes, you did. And it's got its own charm as well, it's not just that, you know what I mean? It's not just a clone of Quick Live with a little bit of uh, variables changed uh, for the movement. It's It's got its own spirit, it's got its own character as well. Classic Doombringer moments, you know? Hmm. That's a lot of fucking damage I just did to you, Joe, wasn't it? Yeah, it is. This is a bit, mate. This is a bit. Wait. And we are in our certain seconds left. And. <laughs> How, <are> you? <laughs> How fucking Bruh. drunk does he sound? <laughs> Ah, we are GG's, well, GG's. GG's, everybody. Yeah, I might have been guzzling the spear faster than I normally <laughs> do. Well played, Joel.
Thanks, Alan. You too. No sweat, mate. Four out of seven. Four out of seven. My best so far. Except one of them was M1, so it doesn't count. <laughs> mm. so Two really, of them are against you, really so they don't count. Seven. Yeah. Well, no, it's three out of six. What a scrub. Oh, yeah, true enough. I used to be something in this game. Now look at me. Slumming it. Slumming you it. are something in this game. You're the eSport... Whatchamacallit. So since we got a whole bunch of viewers, I'm gonna give you a fucking little juicy little teaser. Hey, how's that sound? I like since that. we talked about Demir being a mainly single player game, why don't I mm. run through uh, quickly just the first... Uh, just the first level. Hang on. Hang on. Whoa, Let's whoa, do whoa, this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, I'm gonna start a co-op server just very quick. Oh no. And then you join me. Uh, can I complete the first level, mate? I completed it, mate. I completed it already. Tons of, tons of times. I'm actually the fastest uh, person to complete it. I don't think that's the first level. Oh, the second level, whatever. You want him to? Yeah, and yeah, well, don't hurt me. That's not the point. Yeah. <laughs> it's the fastest. So it's the fastest yeah. skill level. You are, yeah. You are the fastest. Come on, do what you want to do. How do we? Uh, how do I join you? Uh, multiplayer, server, list, server list. Yep, I'm there. There's only. Uh, for some reason, it doesn't. It's not showing up. The, the difficulties are pretty solid. Like even the easy difficulties are actually not that easy hmm. compared to other. Like compared to easy and other games, you know. Okay, I. Okay, fuck it. I thought I was ha had, fi had this fixed, but it unfixed again. So we can't so... do can't do co-op. No. So just do right, okay. Yeah. So which which what? campaign is he one M two on? Uh, Grindhouse, Silos. Wait, I, I'm not gonna play Destroyer Worlds because I'm not. Uh... Oh wait, this is one M one. Don't show this map. This map's not finished. Yeah, I'm working on uh, visualizing it. It's uh, by uh... <laughs> Jesus Christ! How how Scarecrow. Am I? Scarecrow, yeah. Uh, so he made the block out, and I'm adding the visual elements. So yeah, give you a little bit of a teaser of the uh, of the first map. Let you see what you're working with. With Alan's uh, uh, multiplayer-centric uh, CFG, of course. Oh yeah. Let me uh, let me quickly turn weapon models on at least. Anyway, boys, I just want to say thanks to everyone for watching. Thanks for the uh, the commentary as well. Have a good one, boys. Yeah, you too, mate. Well played. Cheers. Uh, players that can do coup, co-op, uh, I think, 64 at most, but I would recommend it. Uh, because at least every map I have added starts for four players co-op. But, you know, can join just as many as uh, the server can fix. So this is obviously very alpha, like, the game's in a very alpha state right now. But, uh, there are a, a lot of sound effects missing. Yeah, there's sound effects, music, stuff like that that isn't in yet. Yeah. Uh, Primeval is uh, working hard on music. I made him a massive list because we wanted to have a music that was a bit more action oriented as well. So when you run out of enemies to shoot, the music will calm down to a more ambient soundtrack instead. So, and there's yeah, a lot of things. That it, I put him on him. I'm going to play for him. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Take the take the help behind you. Oh, calm down, Chris. This fucking hell. Come on. <laughs> uh, 
And uh, for the single player episode, the first one will be completely free, and then we might sell the other ones as uh, expansions or DLC or whatever you want to call it. So I can send some money over to the people who made the sound effects and music and uh, etc. But yeah, it might be. I mean, who knows? For me, for me personally, I don't really do it for money. I, I'm more interested in having people play the game than anything else. But it would be, uh, it's nice to be able to give the people who helped you some sort of uh, monetary gratitude. Oh, Christus, look at this. A little bit of a map error here. Huh. Oh. Indeed it is. That is why it's uh, alpha, mm -hmm. beta, whatever you call it. Alpha, beta. So yeah, that's it. Really, that's all the... Secrets and stuff. That's the end of the level. Um, hit, hit tab again. Is it really all the secrets? Yeah. Five out of five. Oh, yeah. But not all the items. Not all the items, though. No. What items are counted? Like all these ammos and stuff? Uh, they help. <clears throat> not the ammos. Uh, just the uh, things that you can always pick up. But I'm probably going to remove uh, item counters from. Uh, these, uh, yeah, these things because fuck them. I don't know where the rest of them are. They're, I'm just keeping two power ups and uh, yeah, power ups means mostly. Where's the ammo? Where's the health? No, oh, it's not one. health. It's, uh, yeah, that there's a power up, and then oh, there's. Okay, more to go. Another one of these power ups. Is it? Yeah. Where? At the end. At the end? 26 out of 27. Yeah, that's the one near her left. Power up. Ah, you never found it. Behind you. Down there. In the slime. Down here in the slime? Down there, yeah. Oh, yeah, behind you. Guys. Yeah, those guys. And there you were. Yeah. Back, 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 back. Oh, yeah. There's a little bit of copy here. Oh, fucking hell. Alright, that's everything now. There we go. Alright, so that's it. Just a little bit of a teaser of the single player for you. But uh, yeah, again, thanks for watching. Yeah, it's been fun. Yeah, it's been excellent, we really appreciate it. Whatever that's going to be, do you think? Next week, or...? Yeah, uh, well, maybe, I'm not sure if it's midsummer Eve next week, so maybe we... We'll do a break. I'm not sure. I'm going to talk to Joel about it, but we'll okay. make an announcement on Twitter. On Twitter. So How follow do we follow us. you on Twitter? What's your app? Follow us on Twitter. I'll post the link in. Post the link. Get the links in chat. I'll get the Discord link. Yeah. So Twitter, Doombringer uh, FPS on Twitter. Join the Discord uh, to keep up to date with all this stuff. Also visit the website, doombringer.eu yeah. uh, If something isn't working for you, come ask me about it. There is a version on doombringer.eu, but it's an old version. If you would like to get yeah. the most up-to-date version, you can always PM Christus. And he's uh, very welcoming that way, you know, lots of people were being given keys, so... Yeah, if you're really interested, then come along and play with us and... Yeah, all that good stuff. Yeah. Uh, and if you like making map, there's always room for you too. Yeah, definitely. So that's it for us today. Uh, hopefully we'll be back next week with something 
We'll see if it's up. Follow us on Twitter. And yeah, see you later. And thanks to Tim Conlan for hosting. Otherwise, anytime. Catch you later, everyone. Gee.